This is Andrew from Falcon Sports and in this tech video I'm going to show you the complete disassembly and reassembly of your Falcon Blackhawk paintball marker. Before starting any work on your paintball marker, make sure there's no CO2, high pressure air, or any gas in the marker. Also make sure your bolt is in the forward position and that you're in a clean area with all the tools that you'll need. Remove your barrel by turning it counterclockwise. Remove your deluxe feed neck by using your Allen key, applying a slight clockwise pressure and sliding it out. Remove your standard feed neck by simply flipping the latch and removing the feed neck. Remove the foregrip by turning the adjustment knob counterclockwise to loosen and merely slide off the rail. Let's remove the iron sights from the top of the body. The rear iron sight has a thumb screw which you can turn counterclockwise to loosen and the front iron sight uses the small allen key. Again, turn it counterclockwise to loosen and merely slide off the rail. Now it's time to disassemble the body. Remove the body screws and trigger frame screws and nuts as shown here. It's always a good practice to keep a small container, a diagram, or even a piece of styrofoam to organize the nuts, bolts, parts, and pieces when you're disassembling. It makes a really organized assembly when the time comes to put this thing back together. Remove the caulking pin cover and set it aside. As you can see, a paintball broke in the feed tube, so let's get that cleaned out. You'll want to clean these parts with a dry cloth. Remove the barrel thread adapter and give it a thorough cleaning. Disassemble your bolt and hammer assembly. With the internals removed, flip the body over and remove the valve housing screws. Remove the valve and the bolt and give everything a thorough wipe down, even inside the body halves. Clean out any paint, debris, or shell. Inspect your hammer and replace the o-ring if necessary. Remove the firing safety by pressing on the right side and pushing through the safety all the way to the left. You remove your trigger and sear. Inspect your sear for any damage. Split your trigger plate. If it's worn or damaged, replace your sear. Reinstall your trigger group. Reinstall your trigger group into the trigger frame assembly. And secure it with your safety pin. Now it's time to reinstall your power tube into the body shell. Install the bolt, the guide, and the barrel adapter. Now's a good time to lubricate the hammer and hammer o-ring. You can use your preferred marker grease or gun oil. Now it's time to reinstall the hammer into the frame. Dry fit the guide rod into the hole in the hammer. Replace the ball detent. Replace the hammer caulking pin, making sure to line up the holes to front and back. Now reassemble the back cap, pin, spring, and o-ring. Insert this assembly into the back of the hammer and secure the cap. Replace the expansion chamber adapter. When this is done properly, your barrel thread adapter should be secure, your bolt should be forward, the ball detent should be slightly depressed, and your back cap should be secure. Using the bolts and lock nuts, reassemble the body and trigger frame. Do the body, bolts, and nuts first. Then attach your trigger frame. If you have no extra parts, move on to the next step. Replace the rubber caulking lever cover. Reinstall your front sight to the top rail. When you find your desired position, tighten it with a clockwise motion of the Allen key. And it's pretty much the same process for attaching the rear sight. Just use the thumb screw in a clockwise motion. Reinstall your foregrip by sliding onto the bottom rail to your desired position and tighten it up in a clockwise motion. Reattach the deluxe feed neck by applying a quarter turn of pressure counterclockwise with the Allen wrench. Slide on the guide rail into position over the feed tube and release. Reattach your standard feed neck by pulling back on the lever, sliding in, and releasing the lever. Reinstall your barrel into the barrel thread adapter and turn clockwise. And now your Valken Blackhawk marker is completely reassembled and ready to go. 
Using the provided Allen key, you can adjust your velocity down by turning clockwise and your velocity up by turning counterclockwise safely over the chronograph. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow us on social media, and you'll get the exclusives from Falcon Sports.